I got a package. So I finally received my hot water that I ordered. How do we do it quickly and still make it look cool? Well, there we go. It's a pretty good looking bit of kit so far. All we could do, wave the Sparky to get around, read some instructions, and get it installed. It doesn't look too complicated. However, I don't deal with 240 volts, so that is a professional's job. If the sensor clip is installed correctly, this will us asterisks and blinking. So what's that? 10 amps. What's that? Maths in my head again. 2400 watts ish going to the hot water system, and not being sold at six cents. Thanks, Mr. Sparky. There we go. It's all set up and done. It's all lit up there. So we are actually. Diverting a load to the hot water system, so we're already saving money within minutes. That is fantastic. Go back around the power board. We've got that turned on. We've got all that turned on. Safety switch. Okay, safety switch works still. Awesome. There's a tight fit in there. Okay, let's go around the side. Okay, so my off-peak tariff has stopped moving. That is awesome. So basically I'm just using power directly from my solar inverter and instead of exporting it to the grid at, um, at 6 cents per kilowatt hour, it is now going to my hot water system. So we've utilised the hot water, where's the hot water? Range hot water. So we've still utilised that switch, however we have upgraded it um, and we've just diverted it over. Our Energex meter here and our meter here are no longer being used. They haven't been decommissioned, they've just been un un unplugged at the switch here. I can still reconnect that if I ever need to. It does cost me a few cents a day to have that sitting there, but I'm willing to accept that for now until I understand it better. It's a little bit cool on here and a little bit warm inside the house. We haven't got enough energy excess to heat the water. We are currently using 2,500 watts and we are in line mode. So we're a couple days and it's going really well. The first two days we had two kilowatt hours used from the grid rather than 30 or something like that. And we still fed in eight or 10 kilowatt hours into the grid at six cents per kilowatt hour. Had a little bit of a problem this morning where we run out of hot water because we had a few days of bad weather. But I guess you get that, right? So I had to come out and use the little over button, press it in there and it, and it boosts it and pulls it from the grid just to heat the hot water system up. Keeps the wife happy, keeps me happy. I guess I'll take that. Didn't realise it's got a few other cool little features where it can actually have two loads on it. So it can actually have one hot water system, heats that one all the way up, that one shuts down, and then it'll actually heat a second one um, on a timer or whatever within the, the programming of it. Uh, you can also tell it to boost. So what I've done is I've sit there and programmed it up so it will boost uh, in between three and four, no, sorry, in between four and five o'clock in the evening, which just guarantees if we have a bad day, it will heat the water back up again so we can all have our evening showers. Um, but also if it's been a really good day, it won't come on at all, so it's not needed. And it'll cost us a little bit extra. I reckon it's gonna cost us about 80 bucks a quarter. But I've actually turned on it for an hour in the morning as well, just to boost that hot water up, just in case anybody wants to grab a quick shower in the morning. Um, I could turn that off, save a lot of money, but I think that's just a comfort thing. So I'd rather have it than not. So tubers, finally 
me hot water systems um, off grid, so to speak, kind of almost maybe. But it's a good start in the right direction, and it stops me selling electricity at a ridiculously low rate and buying it back 10 seconds later for three times more. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed and you want notifications, click that little bell button beside the subscribe button on my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. So, if you're still here, I have something to tell you. That was not a sponsored gig. Everything I purchased myself, Spark I paid for myself, and all the rest of that. So, I did actually try and contact a few Aussie companies about um, sponsoring me for this video. Uh, I've been looking for quite some time for something that was in my price range and sort of fits what we do here, i.e., you know, everything's DIY and budget. This wasn't DIY, but it was fairly cheap, and it is the cheapest on the market that I could find, the solar immersion unit. Fairly disappointed that I tried to contact the company a few times without response. I also tried contacting a couple of the Aussie places that make them. Um, uh, one of them accepted my phone calls and had a quick chat and then just stopped replying to me. Another one just didn't reply at all. A message back would have been nice. I mean, just a no thank you, sorry, I'm busy, we can't do it, we don't have the stock, we don't believe in that form of advertising, I'm not sure how it works. But um, yeah, so it wasn't sponsored, but I will do an open and honest review of it, so to speak, so I'll, I'll use it over the next couple of months and every every other video that I'll do, if I'm down there, I'll um, update and try and work out how much it costs me and stuff like that and how much it saves me, more importantly. That'll be a good metric in the next build to see how much it saves me. I sure bet the wife will be happy if we can, you know, knock a few bucks off that power bill. And given our hot water is our biggest bill for um, from grid import, it's going to be a good thing, I reckon. Anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I've got the Tesla video almost done from when we charged it off my power wall for a little while. Just need to add a little bit more footage. And Pack 5 is still going okay. And I'm really annoyed at that. Why is Pack 5 still working? Cell 5, Bank 5, whatever it is, it's the fifth cell there and it's all made out of red cells. What's the deal with that? I really did expect that to fail. Time will tell. I reckon I'm going to be proven right. It's just going to take a little bit of a load and, and using it in real world. So, Tesla video, pack number, cell number, cell number five in the next video. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.